A. Today I will show you how to make this cool Polkadot pattern in Microsoft Word 2013. So let's get started. Start with the blank document and before we start drawing we have to show the grid line. So go to tab view grid lines. Now it doesn't matter which size the grid line is but if you want to change it you have to go to a different tab which is the page layout align grid settings. And you have, here you have the horizontal and vertical spacing for the grid and it doesn't quite matter which size it is but you want both values to be the same. Okay so we'll start drawing and we will draw a shape a circle. So insert shapes oval and this time you don't have to press the shift key because it will snap to the grid so just make sure that you are drawing a circle not an ellipse. Change the outline to no outline and fill to some different color, for example this light green, I like it. So if, if we use this circle right away as a, as a pattern fill, and I will sh quickly show it to you and you don't have to worry because I will show it in a slower speed later, but if I use this as a pattern fill for a new shape, you can see that we do have some kind of fill, but it's not what we want because there is no spacing between those circles so it's forming an interesting pattern but uh, not what we want right now. So what we need to do is to make this pattern bigger that is we want it to be uh, taking like three to three grid uh, rectangles. So we have to draw a new shape this time a rectangle which will be transparent. So draw a rectangle which is a little bit bigger than the, uh, than the circle. Set the outline to no outline and fill to no fill. Now we have this bigger transpa transparent rectangle and a smaller circle. So select both with the shift key pressed and cap it into the clipboard by pressing the Ctrl C key. Now we want to insert a new shape, a new rectangle. This time a pretty big. And I already have this format shape in visible but you can show it by right clicking on the shape and selecting format shape. In here we want to change the fill to picture or texture fill and click on the clipboard. This, fill of, this will fill our shape with the image from the clipboard but we want to have it repeated multiple times so we have to check this style picture as texture checkbox and adjust the scale x and y by default is 100% but it's kind of big so maybe 50 should be better. So we have our fill but it doesn't look like a polka dot because in the polka dot uh, the baseline is kind of jumping up and down it's more interesting. Almost if you rotate this shape 45 degrees you can see that this is the, sh this is the fill which we want. The only problem is that our shape is no longer a rectangle but it's kind of distorted shape which is not very useful. We can fix it by simply inserting a different shape. We can insert a diamond shape with the shift key pressed and if we fill this diamond with our pattern and rotate it 50, uh, 45 degrees with the shift key pressed you can see that we have our fill and we have the rectangle or, or a square uh, shape. Adjusting the spacing in this pattern is pretty easy. All we have to do is make this transparent rectangle a little bit bigger so we just resize it to take 4 to 4 squares, select both, copy into the clipboard with Ctrl C, select our diamond and again click insert picture from the clipboard. Of course you have to check the tile picture as texture egg. Uh, every time you change the texture. So here we have a fill with bigger spacing, we can make it even bigger, we can maybe you know hide the grid lines, maybe change the page background to maybe some darker blue. We can even copy paste this shape and move it somewhere in between like this and maybe recolor it by clicking on this picture tab and changing the recolor to some darker blue. You can position it properly by pressing the uh, arrow keys on your clipboard. I think this is just fine, maybe the blue is too visible so we can jump to the fill tab and uh, increase the transparency just like this. 
ok I like it this way and we can call it done if you like it also you can check my new free ebook 7 best text effects in Microsoft Word which you can read online on this address it's also in the description for this video so go read the book learn something new and have fun thank you